This is Minecraft, but I added surgery. Today, our goal is to complete 10 surgeries in Minecraft. From surgery on villagers to surgery on mobs to even surgery on the dragon, my goal is to complete 10 successful surgeries to reach the final operation. But every single surgery isn't really a cakewalk, especially when we get to things like the warden. So, how exactly does surgery work in Minecraft? And what happens when we try to operate on this guy? Stay tuned to find out. So, this is going to be the hospital. And our goal today is to go inside the operating room and pretty much do surgery in Minecraft. Okay, hello, uh, nurse. Dr. Nestor, thank goodness you're here. Your patient is ready to see you. Oh, wait, what did I get? Oh, I got my white coat. Nice. Okay, so doctor approved white coat, a scalpel, and a syringe, which is, oh my goodness, we got a needle Minecraft. Okay. And for our first patient, we're going to be getting a villager. So do I just click this? Oh, it's a villager. Help, doctor. I was mining and got an emerald and gold and get stuck in my body. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, it's literally a villager with, I guess, an emerald and a pickaxe on its head. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Patient chart villager. Okay, so we got the pickaxe in the head, an emerald in the nose, and then an ingot in the intestines. So I've never done Minecraft surgery, but I guess we're the right person for this because we got the scalpel, so... Oh, okay, so let's remove the pickaxe first. The pickaxe is really stuck. You'll need to pull harder. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's keep pulling. I'm pretty much just right-clicking. Come on. Can we get it out? Any moment. Oh, and we did. Oh, wait, wait, what? Stop the bleeding. There has to be something around here that'll help. Oh, we gotta get bandages, apparently. Bandages, bandages, bandages. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait. I just broke out the room. No. Okay, that's a villager's pickaxe. Apparently, it does special stuff. Okay. Oh, wait. Apparently there's a bandage cave. Let's go down there real quick because we don't have much time and the timer is going down very quickly. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Where are the bandages? Oh, and there they are. Let's get the villagers pickaxe. Mine some good old bandages. And oh my gosh. Wait, what the heck is this cave? Come on. Come on. Let's go on the bandages. I think 15 should be enough. Let's go up real quick. Let me real quick grab 17. There we go. And let's make sure that villagers doesn't die. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I can't fill my first surgery. Okay, Miss Villager. I'm all the way back now. Let's real quick fill you back up. Do not die on me. Okay. Couple bandages. And there we go. The bleeding is stopped and we ended up getting a x-ray. So I'm gonna guess the x-ray right there is telling us that there's a pretty much an emerald on his nose, as you can see on the right. And when I right-click it, it says the patient has some cranial damage. You'll need to use a scalpel. Okay, let's get the scalpel out real quick and we're gonna be removing the emerald nose thing. I'm sorry if this hurts, but I'm gonna try my best. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just like that, we got the nose out of the way and that feels much better, Doc. Can you remove the gold ink inside me now? Oh, wait, do we have to open him up? Open the villager with your scalpel. Oh. Okay, before we do that, we ended up getting his nose and it says build a helper piece one out of nine i'm gonna guess that's for later but we did get an emerald so i'll keep the emerald from his nose and now we gotta literally do intestinal surgery what the heck is this challenge guys okay let's real quick right click him and oh my guys we are now looking at inside of a villager why he's not bleeding no idea but do i just take this out oh yo what the heck okay we have the blocked intestines now so i think we just gotta pull out the gold ingot now so let's go to right click oh we did it okay place back the cleared intestines and we also got the gold ingot in there, which I'm going to go ahead and keep. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would keep the gold ingot from this surgery because, uh, I, you know, I, I might need it for later. But anyways, uh, here you go. Intestines back. There you go. Do I do I put the back the stuff? Okay, there we go. It just came back there. Okay, Miss Villager. And just like that, Villager's done. His surgery completed. And the next patient is an iron golem. Okay, that was the weirdest thing we've ever done in a video. But with that being done, that's going to be one patient done. And now we have the iron golem right here. But before we do that, we got a message saying my next patient might be hostile. Collect some gear. Plated coat craft unlocked. Oh, wait. Okay, so we unlocked a new craft, and the craft will be on the screen right now. Pretty much, we're going to be taking this coat right here, putting in some iron ingots, and then we get a better coat. So, before we get to that, I'm going to repair this area real quick, and then let's get the good coat. Okay, don't mind me. Let's real quick grab this iron with that ability, and the villager's pickaxe is going to go ahead and give me 10 iron ingots, and I guess one white coat and eight iron ingots. We now get a plated coat with protection three. Help protect you from stronger patients. Okay, so this is going to be only patient number two. And I guess here we go. Let's go back to the operating room. Okay, so next patient is going to be the iron golem. And how's this going to work? Right click. Oh, and it's literally a golem. Something in my circuits doesn't feel good. I think I might have bugs. Oh, okay. That is a big boy. So I just got to make an incision now. Procedure iron golem. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Okay, let's go to get the first thing down. And I guess that's to just make the first incision. Okay, so do I just right click him? Oh, iron golem heart control room. Guys, I think we just went inside of the golem. Golem. What the heck? Okay, wait, so are these his bones? Okay, so our goal's at the top where we gotta power down the golem, but how do I power down a golem? There's just a bunch of iron right here. Is it this? Nope. Is it this? Nope. I guess let's look around and see if we can power this guy down. Oh, wait, is it this? Oh, okay, so when I right-click them, they power down the golem. Where's the rest of them, though? Oh, here they are. All right, that's another one. And now for the final lever, the golem has been powered down. Find the code and fix the bugs. Find the main screen. I'm gonna guess that's the main screen. By the way, do you guys see that? 
It literally says subscribe to Xstorio. So if you guys are watching right now, guys, we are trying to hit 5 million subscribers. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I guess let's go inside of here. And wait, what the heck? Okay, the bugs are swarming out of the console. Wait, what the are these things? There's just a bunch of bugs. Oh, 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 okay, okay. They actually do pretty good damage. I am being bullied by bugs. How many bugs are there? Get you out of the way. Let's get you out of the way. Well, there goes all the bugs. And with the bugs gone, you can now replace the broken capacitors, which is, wait, what the heck is a fusion capacitor? And why does an iron golem have this inside of him? I kind of want to steal stuff from the iron golem low key, but we're going to be stealing the iron blocks just so we can have some extra stuff. Okay, he probably won't feel that. And now I got to replace the short circuited capacitors, which is, uh, is it this? Oh, wait, we got something. A synthetic nerves. Build a helper and it's piece two out of nine. So now we have the nose and the synthetic nerves. Gonna guess that's going to be something for later on. So let's keep going and keep adding these fusion capacitors. Oh, there goes another one. That's going to be halfway done. Okay, another one right there. Another one right there. And there we go. Core systems repaired or return to the operation room. All right, let's go back. Hey, okay, we did it. These gears are working like new. Thank you, doctor. And just like that, surgery complete. And that's going to be for the iron golem, which I'm going to guess he didn't notice that we kind of stole part of his body, but it's okay. Oh, and another craft unlocked. Ender scalpel and knee extension crafts unlocked. So let's go ahead and try to make these things first before we get to the next thing, which is going to be an enderman. Okay, let's go back mining. Okay, step one, get some copper. There we go. Thank you very much, uh, villager pickaxe. That's going to be 15 copper ingots. And now we need bones. And I think I saw a room above us that might be good for that. So one sec. Okay, so because we do need bones, we can now go to the bone room, which as you can tell, inside the bone room, I don't know why there's a bunch of skeletons. So I guess, um, let me get ready the scalpel. And actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and make the next thing, which is going to be the ender scalpel. So because I saw some pieces of the iron golem, we're going to go ahead and use that. And now we have an ender scalpel, which is a little bit better than the normal scalpel. And, uh, I guess this is my weapon for today. Okay, we're going to go inside and I'm just going to fight them all. Oh, here we go. Okay, what's up, guys? Oh, they do damage. Okay, okay, this is a bad idea. I just need the bones. That's all I need. Okay, that's two skeletons down. I am literally at risk of dying right now. Stay away. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. I'm at work. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. I'm just a doctor. Please. Okay, okay. I've been running for a while. Two more skeletons. Okay, one more skeleton, please. Oh, I hate the bone room. Come on. Yes. Okay, just like that. There goes the skeletons. And now we have eight bones when we needed four. Why are the skeletons in the hospital? Who knows? But can we get one like for the bone? room. Yeah, well, why not? Okay. What we gotta do is apparently make boots with the bones or what, what does this make? Ender bone extensions. Don't know what I need this for, but you know what? We have it now. Let's get back to surgery. Into the operating room we go and the next patient is gonna be the Enderman. Okay, let's go ahead and click that and where are you at? Enderman. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, hi doc. It seems that I'm unable to teleport. Ooh. Okay. I guess we can figure that out soon. And it says inspect the Enderman. Maybe it's missing something. All right. So patient chart, Enderman, what do we got here? Here. Procedure cannot teleport properly, and I guess we gotta do surgery. Well, I guess let's get out the scalpel and try whatever we can. Wait, what the heck? Okay, we just opened him up, and with that, we got an ender gem. Links you to the ender lord? Okay, so according to this, we gotta get a chorus fruit, and I don't know how to get a chorus fruit besides going to the end, but we did get this thing, so do I like right click him with it? Ender lord, who has summoned me? Wait, what? Wait, wh where's the ender lord? There, there's a boss bar. Does he anywhere? <gasps> oh my, what the heck is that thing? I, I think we're fighting this guy. Oh, you. Why is this guy coming out of this Enderman? Nope, stay away, stay away. I don't know if this is like how I should be a doctor, but it's all good. There goes the Ender Lord. How could this happen? And we get an Eye of Ender, which I mean, I'll keep that. Why not? And some Ender Pools. Nice. And of course, some good old Chorus Fruit, which I actually don't really know what these are used for in normal Minecraft. Let me know in the comments down below. But now that we have the Enderman open, uh, I guess here we go, Chorus Fruit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got the Chorus Fruit in. And now he says, could you make my legs longer too? Ender Bone Extensions required. He definitely is a shorter Enderman, but I have just the right thing for you. Ender bone extension. So do I just like right click you? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Enderman kneecaps and surgery complete. Next patient creeper. Just like new. Have a great day, Enderman. Oh, wait, wait, no, I looked in his eyes. No, go, go away. Okay. Okay, they're, they're gone. And now we have the creeper, but before we get to the creeper, apparently a wire cutter is required. So let's go ahead and make that craft on the screen right now. Anyways, what we need now is one more gold ingot and then we can make the wire cutter. So let's go back down the hospital all the way to the caves, which I still don't know why this hospital has a bandage cave right underneath, but it gets the job done. All right, a bunch of gold, right click. Okay, so to make this, we need two gold ingots right there. And then this, oh, there we go, some pliers. And without further ado, let's go back to the operation room. All right, next patient, Creeper, let's go ahead and do it. Oh my, that guy is so big. Doctor, I feel like I'm about to explode. I need my internals fixed up. Okay, I'll try to fix you up, buddy. Let's real quick figure this out. And I guess let's go ahead and get the ender scalpel out and try to go inside. Oh, 
Okay, we literally went inside. Creeper explosive room. Defuse the bomb. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, this is not good. I think this might be what the pliers are for. Okay, do I just right click it? Oh, no. Guys, I think we have to pick the right wire. Green, red, blue, and yellow. Guys, I'm not good at this type of stuff. Are there any hints or anything? Anywhere? What, what is this stuff? Reactive gunpowder? Okay, I'm not touching that right now. I think that'll literally make things worse. Oh, wait, what about this? Okay, candles. Is there a hint here? Wait, one, two, three, four. Okay, I think that's the order. Maybe red first, then blue, then green, and then yellow. Okay, I don't have much time, guys. The timer is literally almost halfway done. Okay, let's real quick just do red first. Red first. Oh, this might be bad. The video literally might end right here. Okay, we're good. Nothing bad happened. Now let's go for number two. That's gonna be blue now. Okay, let's get rid of this real quick. There we go. Okay, good stuff. I'm just be a little bit careful. Okay, two more to go. We got green and yellow. I don't want to touch anything just yet. Let's confirm. Four, three. Okay, let's just get the green out. Okay, that's done. But the bomb hasn't stopped. Oh gosh. So do I have to do them in order then? Do I just remove yellow? This might be a really bad idea, but we're doing it anyways. Yellow? Oh no! Wrong wire? Oh, that's a lot of creepers. Okay, apparently I defused the bomb at the same time. That doesn't make any sense, but let's get rid of these creepers. And why are there creepers inside the creeper? I guess that's why he's so big. But with that being done, our new mission is to remove the reactive gunpowder. And uh, I guess, can we just touch this? Is this like uranium? Oh, no. All right, don't mind me. Let's go and grab all these and finish the procedure on the creeper. Wait, do I just right click this? Oh, okay. So I just got to right click it and it makes the bar go up. Nice. Okay. All right. So this might be the rest of it. So let's go to right click it all. What happens now? Oh, creeper explosive normalized. Return to the operating room. Oh, okay. And with that being done, surgery complete. And the creeper says, I feel explosive now. Thanks, Doc. And there it goes. But now that we're done with that one, our next guy is going to be the picking cow. Like at the same time. My what? Okay. Your patient is outside. Hurry and get them. They only have five minutes to live. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Apparently we got to go outside. Let's go. Okay. Apparently I'm meeting a pig and a cow. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get both of them up. Oh, wait, I got to get wheat. Let me real quick get some wheat from the village. All right. Got the wheat. There we go. And now let's go and find the cow pig. Wait, is that the cow pig right there? Wait, what the heck is that thing? Please help us doctor. Pig and cow. Wait, what the heck? Okay, cow pig, straight this way, I guess. Villagers do not look at the cow pig. It's just vibing right now. Okay, we're gonna go up some ladders and you're a cow pig. You can go up ladders, right? Oh, I can go up ladders. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is very cursed. Oh, what the heck? All the way inside of here. And now I just need you to go on this table and then we'll uh, be starting the surgery very soon. Well, I guess here goes nothing. Doctor, we need you to separate us. Use a scalpel and rearrange the internal organs very carefully. Okay, let's get the scalpel out real quick. And oh gosh, this is gonna be the weirdest thing I've ever done on this channel. Okay, right click. Oh, what am I looking at right now? Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm supposed to separate these guys from each other. And I'm gonna guess I put the beef part over here and the raw pork chop on the right. Okay, let's real quick do that then. How did this even happen? Wait, what the heck? Oh gosh, wait, we have excess. Okay, um, I don't think they'll mind if I steal the meat because I do need some more food. Oh gosh, I'm gonna real quick and grab the meat myself. There we go. Okay, please work in three, two, one. Oh gosh, come on, big cow. Oh, there we go. Oink! And why is the cow talking? One more thing, dog. Would it be possible to repair my horns? It needs bandages. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we gotta put bandages. The, the pig just left. Oh, uh, well, goodbye, pig. Okay, what do we get this time? So, we got another patient chart where the horn is broken. Bandages required. And luckily, we got some more bandages, at least. Okay, Mr. Cow. Let me real quick right click you. And awesome smiley face. Okay, so surgery completed. Now the next patient's gonna be the warden. Oh, gosh. Quickly, head downstairs. Your next patients are waiting in a cave. Oh, uh, don't know how I feel about doing surgery on a warden, but I guess here goes nothing. Let's go down to the bandage cave. And as we saw earlier, there is a deep dark part. So I guess let's go meet the patient. Should I make some more armor? Let's make some more armor. Before we go inside, I'm gonna make a helmet. Let's also make some pants and boots. Can never go wrong with the pants and boots. Well, here we go. Oh, I think I just saw it. Oh my gosh. Use the scalpel to investigate what's wrong with the warden. Hello? It's just kind of vibing. I guess let's just go ahead and right click him. Oh, wait, are we going inside? Warden hearing fits. Facility. Wait, what the heck is this? Liberate the warden from the pain. So what am I supposed to do exactly? Oh, wait, is it this thing? Oh, wait, never mind. We ended up getting some charges, which do we throw it at this thing? Do I just right click it? Oh, one, two, and three. Oh, stand back. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, so now the sword is gone. And now that you've relieved the pain, you might need to make some noise to reignite the hearing system. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, okay, pretty much some bells. Okay, that's gonna be one. Let's go and get another one. Oh gosh, okay, I gotta get every single bell here. As long as nothing pops up, I should be fine. Let's just take it a little bit slow. There goes another one. We're almost done with all the bells now. There we go. Another one again. It looks 
like we only have one left now. Is it this one? Oh, and there we go. The amount of noise awakened a powerful spirit. Be careful. Lost adventure? Wait, what? Wait, where are I? Who are you? Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> wait, wait, who is this guy? Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. We're in a boss battle, apparently. Okay, why is this guy lost inside the warden? Who knows? But let's take this guy out. My goodness. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Stay back, Mr. Lost Adventure. Wait, can I blow him down? Okay, there we go. One more shot. And just like that, there goes the Lost Adventure, where he says, I shall rest once more. And we ended up getting the warden's antenna. Build a helper. Oh, wait, we're getting TP'd back. Oh, and just like that, surgery complete. And now the warden's just gone. Nice. Well, let's go back up real quick and see what the next patient's gonna be. Oh, okay. So when I got near this, now we can find the patient. Doctor, I think I got my fang infected. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna guess all the surgeries are gonna be down here now. And I guess let's go ahead and use a scalpel on this guy. Gotta be a little bit careful, but I guess let's just right click him. Oh my! Yo, 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 yo. Ouch. Can you also unblock my web blockage? Use a scalpel at the back. Give me one sec. I am at half a heart where we're not doing that again. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. Okay. What the heck did he give us? So from that, we got a spider fang. So yet again, um, I'm gonna guess that's gonna be another piece for the helper. Okay. So, uh, do I just remove the string from the butt? Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, do I gotta keep going? Oh my gosh. Wait, it is clogged up. What the heck? Yo, look at all that string. Guys, what the heck? Spider, how did you even let this happen? My goodness. Okay, let's do a couple times there. And there we go. Now I can whip around like Spider-Man in surgery complete. Next part is gonna be here, Brian. What? the heck just happened? Okay. So, I mean, every single one has been an event. So, do I just kind of come up to this place and it pops up? Well, what happens? Oh, there he is. Hey, what's up, Mr. Irvine? Okay. So, Nestor, I think my heart and eye are cursed. Oh, gosh. Wait, why does he not have any eyes? This looks so wrong. Okay. Um, real quick, let's go ahead and grab this. The patient chart for here, Brian, which is produce patient has an infected with a curse. Surgery needed to remove. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Do I just right click him? Scalpel out. Let's do this. Oh, Ooh. Okay, this looks so cursed, guys. Yet again, we are now opening up the insides of Mr. Herobrine. And is this a corrupted heart? Do I just grab that? Oh, there we go. Make sure to put that in a biohazard container. It looks infected. Now I need a new heart. You can take one from an unsuspicious Steve on the wild. Wait, I gotta take Steve's heart? Maybe there might be a Steve up in the hospital we can find? But what am I supposed to do with this thing? Okay, let me real quick find a biohazard container so we can put this away before I die with it. And also, let's go ahead and try to find Steve, apparently. Okay. Okay, so where can I find Steve? Oh, there he is. Okay, literally an unsuspecting Steve right there. So, Mr. Steve, you know, just completely ignore me and ignore the scalpel. I, I don't know if this is like medically correct, but I'm gonna real quick just go ahead and right click you. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't do anything. Wait, do I have to kill him? Oh, this is a little bit awkward. Um, yeah, look straight that way. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, oh my gosh, he does so much damage. Holy. Okay, no, 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 Steve, stand back. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, he literally does like four hearts of damage. I'm out of arrows, guys. Oh no. Okay, brand new plan. Let's run away. Do I have any weapons? Oh, I really don't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's go in real quick. I'm gonna go in for the hit. Oh, and we got him. Yes, okay. With that being done, there goes Steve, and we got Steve's heart, okay? And because we gotta get rid of the cursed heart, maybe the village will be okay, but I'm just gonna put it in here, okay? All right, uh, don't, don't, don't eat that. Anyways, now with that being done, let's eat some bread. And I guess put this heart back inside of here, Brian. Okay, Mr. Here, Brian, we got you your heart. I am ready to, I guess, put it back inside. And let me put in the heart real quick. And did it work? Oh, there we go. Okay, now my eye needs some help. Maybe some bandages could do it. I think I do have the bandages again, so do I just, like, right-click them? One more. Hey, there we go. He's back. What's up, man? You have saved me once again, Nestor. Thank you. And he didn't attack us. Let's go. Okay, so with that being done, there goes Herobrine, and we ended up getting Herobrine's eye. So that's seven out of nine. I have so many pieces now. So next up is the ghast. So I'm gonna guess that's gonna be our next surgery right there. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Wait, so a literal gas is this thing about to be huge? Let me take away all the fire real quick. We don't want any fire in the medical room. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I gotta say, I don't know anything about medicine, so I'm making all this stuff up. I probably broke many laws, but it's all good. Right click and whoa, wait, what? Gas power center. Wait, what the heck? He's got to be in the nether. Doctor, my internal flame is gone, so I can't create fireballs anymore. Wait, why is he so small? Seems like the gas needs the pillars to be relit. Oh, he's so small. Oh, look at this guy. Well, we got given a flint and steel, and for the patient chart of the gas, we gotta reignite all these pillars, I guess. Okay, well, let's start going up then. Only thing I got is uh, oak log. So wait, do I go up to each and every single one? Give me one sec, guys. Let's go all the way up. Okay, so I just like this. Oh, oxygen needs to be depleted. Maybe a pillar is generating it? Oh, wait. Okay, so something is generating oxygen then. And which pillar is causing oxygen? Let me figure that out real quick, guys. Okay, I can't seem to find this place. What if I mine into this thing? Or is there anything inside? Wait, what? So 
inside the pillar. I think this might be what we're looking for. Did I just right click it? Oh, oxygen source destroyed. Nice. That earthly oxygen was making it hard to breathe. Now that's gone, I think you can start reigniting the pillars. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, I guess let's try lighting this up. Oh, it worked. Okay, nice. That's going to be number one. And now we got to do all the ones right here. So let's get going. Oh, wait. I have an idea. The guest didn't say I couldn't destroy the pillars. So real quick, let's grab as much nether brick as we can. And as long as I light them, I should be good. Okay. Here goes another one. There we go. And can I just enter all the way over there? I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail so bad. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, let's go. All these ender pearl challenges have made me actually pretty good at this. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully, I don't need it later. And there it goes. Okay, that, that's a bit of an L. And I guess four more to go. Number four, number five, six, and finally, the final one. That's going to be the last one. And hopefully, I'm fine because I kind of burnt that. Oh, wait, no, I might have to relight that. Oh, gosh. Okay, final one. Let's go ahead and set up an area right there. And there we go. And now that I've lit all of them. Oh, I can make fireballs again. There's another issue, though. I think my voice box is broken and needs to be replaced. Wait, what do I have to do now? Oh, broken voice box. Surgery required. The replacement box is guarded behind the immune system. Take this so you can find it. Oh, what is this? Gas immune system disables the gas immune system. Wait, so do I just right click this? Oh my! That's the immune system? This doesn't even make any sense. Guys, I, I literally don't have any food for this. Oh, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Okay, that, that's a lot of baby immune system, guys. Okay, I got to go in and hit him and fall back before he hits me. Oh, okay, that's another hit. Oh gosh, I got to dodge these guys. Oh, he does so much. Okay, okay, we're falling back. I might have to get these mushrooms and make mushroom stew or something. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, this is going to be a little bit better. Could I hit him with the villager's pickaxe? Does that work? Oh, the pickaxe does damage. Go on, pickaxe, get him. Shout out the villager pickaxe. It's always the first item that does so much damage. Okay, a couple more hits. I'm not sure as a doctor if I should be destroying the immune system, but I guess that's a thing. Okay, and there it goes. Down goes the immune system into other little immune systems. And what they ended up dropping was a gas voice box. Okay. Oh gosh, I don't think I can really kill them, guys. They literally keep multiplying. Okay, new plan. I need to get some food. So let's real quick run back to the gas, put in the voice box, and hopefully this works. Okay, let me get the voice box in. Here we go. And broken gas voice box. Okay, I replaced it. And what the heck is he doing? Okay, so we got TP back. And what the heck just happened? Well, with that being done, that looks like to be the second to last surgery. And where exactly is the next one? And actually, before I do that, let me go to the cafeteria real quick and get me some food. Okay, so I was going back to the operating room and there's now a haunted surgery room. What the heck is this place? Oh, it's him. Give a soul to the adventurer. Nestor, I found an exit from the warden. However, now I need a new soul and body. Wait, new soul, new body. I didn't get told to get any hearts or anything. And I think I might know where this is going again, guys. We might have to convince a YouTuber to come inside of this hospital and I guess transform the adventurer into a real person. Okay, well, give me one sec. Let me message someone. Welcome, buddy. Welcome <sighs> to the hospital of surgeries and everything. Ignore the hologram right there. It's it's not haunted. Uh, I, I want you to meet my friend, okay? Come, come right in here, okay? Okay. So it's right in here, buddy. As you can see, right. this is my friend, Mr. Adventure Ghost Guy. Uh, he, he's, he's vibing. What and, uh, is going on? No, it's all good. It's nothing bad. Okay, I'm going to give you a few things, and we're going to, you know, make this work, okay? I'm going to give you something crazy, okay? It's going to be a bandage right there. Grab that bandage, uh -huh. and now I just want you to go up to the ghost and place the bandage on him. Nothing bad will happen. Just go up to him and right click him. But it's a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, no. I know you've been sacrificed in the past, but this won't happen this time, okay? Just right click him and, and, and it's all good, okay? Oh, right, I'll do it. This is gonna be bad though, I know. Oh! oh! And there we go! Well, this is amazing. I'll be able to go on adventures more times. Onwards to new adventures. And now the man is gone. What the heck? Right. Shout out to Billy. My, my man just got a sacrifice there and I guess that's gonna be surgery complete on the haunted ghost thing. Nice. Anyways, let's get back to the operating room. And so now the final thing that we got to do surgery on is in the original room, but where'd the table go? Next patient, enter dragon, right click. Oh gosh, it's a dragon this time. Okay, so before we go, let's real quick make some new armor. This should help a good bit. And let's make sure not to die. Well, here goes nothing. Right click. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's how we're getting to the end. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Oh, we're in. Okay, we're in the end now. I mean, if it's surgery on a dragon, is the dragon just gonna be down here? Like dead or something? Wait, is he over here? Oh, Oh, wait, it just popped up. I need healing. My breath and wings aren't working properly. And we got the patient chart for the Ender Dragon. Holy, this guy's big. Okay, um, this is gonna be a bit of a big surgery. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this one, but patient chart, Ender Dragon. Patient has.
has lymph nodes. Requires surgery, requires syringe and scalpel. Syringe and scalpel. Okay, so am I gonna have to just scalpel him? Incision done. Try syringe to extract the infected breath now. Okay, let's put in the syringe. And now we have infected dragon breath. Okay, so now the wings are broken and we need the dragon wings and a scalpel. Oh, are these the dragon wings right here? Oh, dragon wings. Wait, did I just right click this guy with the wings? Wait, we got something else. Torn wings. Okay, so with that being done, there goes the dragon saying, wow, I can fly again. You're an amazing doctor. And there it goes. So that's gonna be it for the surgeries and a mysterious presence has appeared nearby. Give a nose to the lost soul. Wait, this guy again? Wait, does he want every piece of the surgeries we've done so far? I mean, here's the nose. Not gonna give the thoughts. Oh, wait, is this the synthetic nerves? Oh, there we go. Now give the legs. I got the kneecaps. There we go. Give a horn. Here's the horn from the cow. Okay, now give the hearing. Oh, the warden's antenna. There you go. Here's the hearing. Now strings. Web sack. There you go. What, what is this gonna do? I, this is very sketchy. I don't think we should be doing this, but you know what? We're doing it for science. There's your mind's eye. A voice, which is gonna be the voice box. And now finally the broken wings. So what does this do exactly? Are we done? Oh, wait, what the heck is that thing? Guys, okay, final boss time. Literally Frankenstein. As a doctor, I don't know if I should be fighting this guy, but you know what? Either way, we're gonna be defeating this guy. Oh gosh, he's actually doing pretty good damage. Let's fall back a little bit. Oh, this guy looks sick though. Oh, we are down to three hearts. Let's fall back a little bit more. Go for a couple more hits. And just like that, down goes Frankenstein, where he says, I only wanted to cure you, sad face. World cured. I proved it myself as a doctor. So with the medical jacket, with all that being done, that's gonna be it for Minecraft by added surgery. And so with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Have a great one. And there's a video just like this one. Bye guys.